So in the last few videos we've been talking a little bit about the second derivative uh, and concavity and points of inflection and things like that. So now it's time to talk about uh, what f primed and f double primed together, uh, what do they say about the original function f? So uh, nothing really new in this video, we're just going to kind of summarize some stuff that we've been talking about in the last few videos. So remember that uh, if f primed is greater than zero, that means that f is increasing. So remember uh, f prime, that's the first derivative, that's pretty much just the slope of uh, the function f. So if the slope is positive, then the original function is increasing. And likewise, if the slope f primed is negative, uh, then that means that the original function f is decreasing. Okay, so f prime positive, that means f is increasing. f prime negative, that means f is decreasing. Uh, and more recently, we were talking about the second derivative. So remember that uh, if f double primed is positive, then that means that f is concave up. And remember, concave up pretty much just means uh, like a bowl, like that like uh, y equals x squared, something like that is concave up. Um, and if f double primed is negative, uh, that means f is concave down. So pretty much just like an upside down bowl. Uh, y equals negative x squared would be an example of that. So um, we'll see some more complicated examples in the next few videos. Uh, we'll work through some problems that use this kind of thing here. So it's really important to keep these in mind. Um, but you know, just straight up memorizing them like this might be kind of difficult. Uh, so there is a chart uh, that we can make. And you also, it's probably not a good idea to memorize the chart, but if you see it in a chart form, it might be a little bit easier to understand. Uh, and you can practice filling in a chart on your own. Uh, so what we're going to do is say f prime greater than zero over here. Make a couple columns. A couple rows. f prime less than zero over here. And over here we'll say f double primed greater than zero. And here we'll say f double primed less than zero. Okay, so we'll zoom in a little bit on this. Okay, so what we're going to do here is draw uh, little pieces of what a function of what our function f is going to look like, uh, given this information here. So we know that f primed is greater than zero. Uh, what does that mean? That means that the function is increasing. Okay, f is increasing, and if f double primed is greater than zero, then the function is concave up. So Again, what does concave up look like? Um, looks like a bowl like this, right? That's concave up. But is, uh, if this is our function f, is that increasing on the whole thing? No, it's decreasing over here, right? But on what piece is it increasing? Well, from about here to here, okay? So if we have a function that's increasing and concave up, then it's just gonna look like this piece right here. So we'll take this piece off. So this right here uh, is a function that's increasing which means uh, f primed is positive, and it's concave up, which means f double primed is positive. So if you know that f primed is greater than zero and f double primed is greater than zero, if you know that both these things are true, then the function is kind of sort of going to look something like this, okay? just in that little area where these two things are true. Okay? Um, what if f double, or sorry, what if f primed is negative and f double primed is still positive? So then what do we have? Well, uh, now the function is decreasing but it's still uh, concave up, right? So f double primed is greater than zero, so still concave up, okay? But now the function is decreasing, so which part of this is decreasing? Well, from here to about here, right? So let's erase the increasing part. Okay, so right here. So this is a decreasing function that's concave up. So if you have a function that's decreasing and concave up, it's kind of sort of going to look something like this, okay? Roughly, roughly something like that. Okay. Uh, now this next uh, square here, so if f primed is positive and f double primed is negative, that means the function is increasing and uh, the function is concave down. So what do concave down functions look like? Kind of sort of something like this, right? So uh, now we want to know which piece of this is the increasing part. So if this, our function f is this, uh, on which part is it uh, increasing? Well, from here to about here is where it's increasing, okay? Um, so we can take off this part here, okay? And now we know that uh, if we have a function that's increasing and a function that's concave down, uh, then it's going to look kind of sort of something like this. So we'll put that over here. Okay, so increasing because the values, the y values get uh, larger as we move further to the right. Okay, so y values uh, go from small to large here. And it's uh, concave down because it's, you know, part of this upside down bowl right here. Okay. So uh, the last square here, f primed is negative, meaning the function is decreasing, and f double primed is also negative, meaning uh, the function is concave down. 
So again, concave down, kind of like this upside down bowl. Uh, but which part, so here, uh, F double primed is negative, that's something like this, but now we want to know which part of this is uh, F primed negative. Well, F primed is negative, uh, that means that F is decreasing, so that happens on this piece here. Okay. So we get rid of this piece. Okay. And um, what we have left is this. So here, decreasing function, okay, if this is our function F, it's decreasing and it's uh, concave down, so we'll put that in here. Okay. So, uh, again, let's make that a little better. Okay, so again, uh, F primed is negative, that means F is decreasing. F double primed is negative, that means F is concave down, so decreasing and concave down. Okay. So, uh, like we mentioned a couple minutes ago, we don't really want to memorize this chart, but what's really helpful is just to understand what it's saying and, you know, know how to fill it in on our own. So if F primed is positive, we have to know that that means F is increasing. Okay, it's really important to know that. And if F double primed is positive, it's really important to know uh, what that means, and that means that F is concave up. So increasing and concave up looks like this. Okay? Decreasing and concave up looks like this. Increasing and concave down looks like this. And uh, decreasing and concave down looks like this. Okay? So that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, in the next couple videos, we're going to do some examples of uh, using this concept here. So that's coming up next.